Hello everyone, this is Yaya Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem: d square into d square plus 4 into y equals to 320 into x cube plus 2x square. So firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. We can write the given differential equation as firstly, I write the given differential equation. As it is, right? Now we can write d square into d square is d power 4 plus 4 d square into y equals to 320 into x cube plus 2x square. Identify the highest derivative. Here d power 4 is the highest derivative. So order will be 4. And the highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d power 4y plus 4d square y equals to 320 into x cube plus 2x square. Now let's replace differential operator d by d by dx. Then d square will be d square by dx square. And d cube is d cube by dx cube d power 4 is d power 4 by dx power 4, right? Now, let's write d power 4y as d power 4y by dx power 4 plus 4 into, let's write d square y as d square y by dx square equals to 320 into x cube plus 2x square. Here, d power 4y by dx power 4, it's the highest derivative, so order will be 4. And the highest power of the highest degree, sorry, highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1, right? Now coming to the problem. Solution. Given differential equation. D square into D square plus 4 into Y equals to 320 into x cube plus 2x square which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square into d square plus 4 and q is 320 times x cube plus 2x square. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is complementary function and yp is particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation simply by taking r equals to 0 we will get f of d into y equals to 0 which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation and we'll find y p using 1 by 4 d into q. So here we are having q of x for k form, right? So we'll be finding derivative of q, right? Since here the highest power is 3, so you will get derivative still d power cube of or d cube of q okay and d power q of sorry d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 4 5 and so on right let's see so firstly let's find complementary function using the auxiliary equation we know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d, is d square times d square plus 4 then f of m will be just replaced differential operator by m then we will get m square times 
m square plus 4. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square times m square plus 4 equals to 0. Right? We can write m square plus 4 as better. We can write this equation as m into m into m square plus 4 equals to 0. Right? And here we are having m square plus 4. We can write it as m square. We can write this plus as minus of minus 4. We'll just write plus 4 as minus of minus 4. Again, we know that i square equals to minus 1 and 2 square is 4. Right? Now let's replace or write minus 4 as minus 1 into 4. Now replace minus 1 by i square. We'll get i square into replace 4 by 2 square. Right? Now we can write i square into 2 square as 2i whole square. Right? Which is of a square plus b square form. Again we can write it as a plus b into a minus b. Right? Now, our auxiliary equation becomes, this becomes m into, m into, we can write m square plus 4 as m plus 2i into m minus 2i equals to 0. Since m square plus 4 equals to product of m plus 2i and m minus 2i. Now equate each factor to 0. Right? We will get m equals to 0, m equals to 0, m plus 2i equals to 0, m minus 2i equals to 0. From m equals to 0, m equals to 0, we will get 2 roots. And from m plus 2i equals to 0, we will get m equals to minus 2i. And from m minus 2i equals to 0, we will get m equals to 2i plus 2i. Right? Then m equals to 0, 0, minus 2i, plus 2i are the roots of our auxiliary equation. Say f of m equals to 0. Which is nothing but m equals to 0, 0, plus or minus 2i. You have minus 2i and plus 2i. We can write them as plus or minus 2i, right? So, we have a pair of equal roots, right? We have two equal roots and a pair of complex conjugate or purely imaginary roots, right? We know that when two roots, say m1, m2 are equal, then we can write yc as c1 plus c2x into e power that equal root into x, right? And we know that a plus ib is a complex number and its conjugate is a minus ib and if a minus ib is a complex number, its conjugate will be a plus ib. So, we call a plus or minus ib as complex conjugate, right? Then m equals to a plus or minus ib can be called as complex conjugate roots. When we have complex conjugate roots, yc will be e power ax into constant, some constant into cos bx plus the other constant into sine bx. C already have used c1, c2 for equal roots, so I took c3 and c4 for complex conjugate. Okay, but in our case, we have 0 plus or minus 2i, right? When a is 0, you'll get e power 0 into x, e power 0 into x is e power 0. Also, we know that since e power 0 is 1, then you'll get e power 1 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx, right? This is 0, right? Since e power 0 into x is e power 0 and also e power 0 is 1, so we'll get 1 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx which is 
c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx right or let's see clearly what happens when we have a pair of complex conjugate roots we have e power ax into one constant cos bx plus c4 sin bx right in case of a0 we'll get e power 0 into x which is e power 0 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx right since e power 0 is 1 then you'll get 1 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx which is c3 1 into c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx is c3 cos bx plus c4 sin bx right so therefore m equals to 0 0 plus or minus 2 i are the roots of our auxiliary equation say m f of m equals to 0 which are equal and a pair of complex conjugate roots which is nothing but two equal roots and a pair of purely imaginary roots right all right simply a pair of complex conjugate roots which are purely imaginary right or purely imaginary conjugate roots whatever it is now let's write complementary function y is equals to firstly let's write for equal roots c1 plus c2x into e power equal root 0 into x plus now let's write for plus or minus 2i c3 already we have used two constants right so we'll take c3 here c3 cos for b equals to 2 we'll get c3 cos 2x plus c4 sin 2x we know that e power 0 into x is e power 0 right plus the next two terms remains the same right then we'll get since e power 0 is 1 then yc becomes c1 plus c2x into 1 plus c3 cos 2x plus c4 sin 2x which is equals to c1 plus c2x into 1 is c1 plus c2x plus c3 cos 2x plus c4 sin 2x which is our required yc now let's find yp particular integral yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. We will find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d d square to d square plus 4. The q is 320 into x q plus 2x square. Right? We can just write this as 320. Right? Firstly, let's find derivative of q. Okay? So, I will find we can just 
write yp as take 320 outside we get 320 into 1 by d square into d square plus 4 into x cube plus 2x square okay now consider x cube plus 2x square as cube now let's find derivative of cube that is derivative of x cube plus 2x square which is 3x square plus 2 into derivative of x square is 2x which is equal to 3x square plus 4x. Now find d square of q which is equal to derivative of derivative of q which is equal to derivative of we have derivative of x cube plus 2x which is 3x square plus 4x which is this derivative of 3x square plus 4x is equal to derivative of 3x square is 3 into 2x plus derivative of 4x is 4 into 1 which is 3 to the 6 6x plus 4 into 1, 4, right? So, d square of q is 6x plus 4. Now, let's find d cube of q. This is derivative of d square of Q, we have the value of d square of q to 6x plus 4. Derivative of 6x is 6 into derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of a constant is 0, which is 6 into 1, 6. Right? Now let's find d power 4 of q. This is derivative of d cube of q. Which is derivative of, we have d cube of q is 6. And we know the derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0. Right? So, higher powers from 4 is 0. Which means d power 5 of q, d power 6 of q, so on are 0. Right? In general, you can write d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 4, 5 and so on. Right? d power k of q is 0 for k equals to 4, 5 and so on. Right? Now, coming to yb, we can split the fraction as 1 by d square into 1 by d square plus 4 into q. Now, we have yp, 320 into 1 by d square into 1 by, let's write this in ascending order, 4 plus d square into q x cube plus 2x square. Now let's take the lowest degree term common from the two terms. Right? Since we don't have any 4 in this term, so what we'll do is we'll just multiply and divide a 4 to the second term. So that in the next term, in the next step, we can take 4 common from the two terms of denominator. We'll get 320 into 1 by d square into 1 by 4 times 1 plus 1 by 4 into d square into q. Right? This is equals to 320 into 1 by d square into, you can write it as 1 by 4 into 1 plus we can write 1 by 4 into d square as d square by 4 
into x cube plus 2x square. Now let's split this fraction as 1 by 4 into 1 by 1 plus d squared by 4 into q x cube plus 2x squared. And we have a fraction which is of 1 by 1 plus x form. We can write it as 1 plus x whole inverse. Then yp becomes 320 into 1 by d square. We can take 1 by 4 outside so that we will get 320 by 4 into 1 by d square into. Let's write this fraction as 1 plus d square by 4 whole inverse into q x cube plus to x square. Right? Now we can use binomial series expansion to expand 1 plus d square by 4 whole inverse. We know that 1 plus x whole inverse equals to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on. Then we'll get Equals to 1 minus for x equals to d squared by 4 we'll get 1 minus d squared by 4 plus d squared by 4 whole square minus d squared by 4 whole cube plus so on. We know that d cube of q is 0 for k equals to 4, 5 and so on. Right? So we'll neglect higher powers from d power 4. Right? So, we will neglect from here. Why? Because we will get 1 minus d square by 4 plus d square whole square is d square into d square which is d power 4. Right? We will get plus d power 4 by 4 square is 16 minus d square whole cube is d square into d square into d square which is d power 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 you will get d power 6 by 4 cube is 4 into 4 into 4 4 was a 16 16 4 64 right plus so on so from third term we are having higher powers so we can neglect from here This equals to 320 by 4 into 1 by d square into expansion of 1 plus x whole inverse is 1 minus d square by 4 plus d square by 4 whole square minus d square by 4 whole cube plus so on into q x cube plus 2x square This becomes 320 by 4. Two twos are 4. Right. Or 4 ones are 4 eights are 32. 4 eighties. 320. You will get 80 into 1 by d square into 1 minus d square by 4 plus d square. d square by 4 whole square is d power 4 by 60. Minus d square whole cube is d power 6 by 4 cube is 64 plus so on into x cube plus 2x square. Right? Since d power k of x cube plus 2x square is 0 for k equals to 4, 5, and so on. So, neglect higher powers from d power 4, d power 5 and so on. Right? Then we can neglect third term, fourth term and hereafter.
Okay, so this becomes, I mean y becomes 80 into 1 by d square into 1 minus d square by 4. You can write it as 1 by 4 d square into x cube plus 2x square. Then yb becomes 80 into 1 by d square into 1 into x cube plus 2x square is x cube plus 2x square minus 1 by 4 into d square of x cube plus 2x square. So this equals to 80 into 1 by d square into x cube plus 2x square minus 1 by 4 into d square of x cube plus 2x square is 6x plus 4. Which is equals to 80 into 1 by d square into x cube plus 2x square minus 1 by 4 into 6x is 6 by 4 into x minus 2 plus minus 1 by 4 into 4 is 4 by 4. 4 by 4 is 1 and this is 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6. This becomes 80 into 1 by d square into x cube plus 2x square minus 3 by 2 into x minus 1. Now let's split, split this 1 by d square as 1 by d into d. Now we need to find 1 by d of terms under square brackets. Is equals to 80 into 1 by d into we know that 1 by d is a integral operator then we'll get 1 by d into x cube plus 1 by d into 2x square minus 1 by d into 3 by 2x minus 1 by d into 1 by b becomes let's replace 1 by d by integral we we'll get integral x cube dx plus integral 2x square dx minus integral 3 by 2x dx minus integral 1 dx. Right? Now let's take the constants outside the integral. We will get integral x cube dx plus 2 integral x square dx minus 3 by 2 integral x dx. Here you are having minus, right? Minus integral 1 dx. You can write integral 1 dx as integral dx. Is equals to 80 into 1 by d into, since we know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1. Right? Since we have n3, 2 and 1 which are not equals to minus 1 so we can apply this formula here. We get x power 4 by 4 plus 2 into x cube by 3 minus 3 by 2 into x square by 2 minus integral dx is x. Which is equals to 80 into 1 by d into 1 by 4 into x power 4 plus 2 into 1 by 3 is 2 by 3 x cube minus 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 2 is a 4 into x square minus x. Again you are having one more 1 by d. Let's take it inside then. Brackets you will get 1 by d of 1 by 4 x power 4 plus 1 by d of 2 by 3 x cube minus 1 by d of 3 by 4 x square minus 1 by d of x. Since 1 by d is integral operator, so yb becomes 18 to integral 1 by 4 x power 4 dx plus integral 2 by 3 x cube dx minus integral 3 by 4 x square dx minus integral x dx. Now let's take the constants outside the integral. We'll get 
general solution the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yb then y equals to we have yc c1 plus c2x plus c3 cos 2x plus c4 sin 2x plus yb 4x power 5 plus 40 by 3x power 4 minus 20x cube minus 40x squared. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.